Alyssa Weinzimmer here. I'm a vocal health educator and the founder of Voice Body Connection. And today in my How to Warm Up video series, we've gotten to the last stage of How to Warm Up, which is all about language. So last week in articulation, we talked about nasal sounds, and today we're gonna put nasal sounds into language and do some tongue twisters for your nasals to really get you to lengthen them and allow you to really make a clear, long, continuous nasal sound. So a reminder that those three sounds are M, N, and NG, right? M is at the lips, mmm, and G is at the tip of the tongue to the al alveolar ridge, we call it, mmm, and NG is at the back of the mouth with the soft palate, mmm, right? So here are your tongue twisters. Here's your M1 to start, it goes, mommy made me mash my M&Ms, yes, okay? <laughs> mommy was mean, I guess. So here we go. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Try to make your M's really long. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Yeah, good. Okay, so practice that one. And in fact, this one is often a um, singing warm up. I learned it that way that people go, Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. So feel free to do it that way. Okay, now we're gonna do the N one. The N goes like this. Nine nimble nobleman nibbling nuts. That one's fun, right? Nine nimble nobleman nibbling nuts. Now, N is a really, really useful sound to practice, so especially focus on this one, because if you can get really clear about your Ns, then you're not only being dexterous with your soft palate like we talked about last week, because it is a nasal sound and the soft palate has to drop, but you're also practicing getting your tongue tipped to the alveolar ridge, which is really important for other sounds that are challenging, like T, D, S, Z, L, right? Those sounds are hard sometimes for a lot of us. So nine nimble nobleman nibbling nuts is your best friend, okay? Cool. Now we're gonna go to the back of the mouth and we're gonna do the NG sound, which is the back of the tongue to the soft palate, mm, right? So we're gonna do don't hang the ring thing next to the wrong thing. Don't hang the ring thing next to the wrong thing. Now, especially with this sound, it's really easy to start trying to swallow the NG energetically. So keep sending your air through and up and out, even though you're using the back of the mouth, right? It's not don't hang the ring thing, it's not that. It's don't hang the ring thing. You can think about leaving the tip of your tongue behind the lower teeth next to the wrong thing. Okay, practice these nasals. They're really good at helping you get articulation much more clearly and having more resonant sound flow flowing through as you are speaking or singing. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions and you can comment below.